ladies and gents, this is the moment you've been waiting for, and this is Groove Mail. Groove Mail is now out and available inside your dashboards. It has come out a couple of hours ago. Uh, this was while I was still sleeping, and I've seen a lot of commotion going on in the Facebook group. Um, people on the edge like when is it coming out you said today afternoon and it's already 1 45 p.m eastern standard time and it's not out what's happening <laughs> it was funny to watch but um i don't react to most of the the these questions because i believe these are rhetorical um but yeah it came out groove mail is available it is um it is different than what I've tested. So as you may see in my post in the Facebook group, I tested Groove Mail and it was um, it was the previous version. So yesterday, um, while we were waiting for it to be deployed, there was a new update to it. It was a UI UX update, which changed the, the dashboard a little bit. It changed different buttons. It put in things in tabs and not to load everything on the same page. And it was a it is a bit different now than it was when I tested it. And this new update also brought in a couple of things that are uh, that are not working at this moment as it was before on the previous version. So this version was put out just to simplify and in case we need to make uh, training videos and things like this so that the UI doesn't change that much. In the during the videos during the the presentations and things like this so they pushed out the last minute update which was uh which is now available inside your dashboard so i was super stoked when groove mail came out and i i started playing with it and it was yesterday morning my time approximately this time yesterday and a lot has changed from them so i will i will point out these these changes um i can see <laughs> i can see a couple of people joining in already so thank you very much for this one i wanted to mention that this video today will not be how to use groove mail it will be just a quick look we'll play with it together um you can ask your questions in the comments section uh in case you have things that you want to report that are buggy that are not working we uh we thank you very much for that one However, this live stream is not for this. So please head over to feedback.groovefunnels.com. Feedback.groovefunnels.com. And you can see here Groove Mail. This is for feature requests. And this is Groove Mail bugs. So in case you want to report a bug, please, this is the place for it to be. Uh, let me tell you also about the bugs with Groove Member and Groove Video. So as we were getting more and more bug reports over here, this is the link I sent to the developers and um, the developers reported back that 95, 96% of the bugs that were reported here are fixed and are coming out either this week or next week with, uh, with the deployment. So this is the place our developers are going to find things to fix, okay? So it is not our Facebook group. It is not the support. So please don't go over to support. My Groove Mail is not working. If you found a bug, it is most probably because it is for everybody. So please click on this Groove Mail bugs and report it here. Or if it is already reported, just click on it. And then, um, and then this is go going to get fixed as a priority, okay? So please don't spam the facebook group don't send me private messages don't go to support and say there i found a bug that is not the place where it should be this is the plate where place where it should be okay so i just wanted to get this out of the way because i believe a lot of people don't understand the the, the point of these uh feature requests and basically the feedback platform where we collect your feedback here um as for example, Michael, if you found a bug, as I mentioned and was mentioning previously, please head over to bugs. If you found something, report it there. The live stream and the Facebook group is not for reporting bugs, okay? So please head over there and then report it here. Good, so now this out of the way, in case somebody comments later on, just please mention it to them as well, guys. Um, I'm trying to continue with this video and I want to point out things um, about the new new 
platform and we'll try to keep the the topic on that one okay so GrooveMail. GrooveMail is available now inside your dashboards and this is over here so it was the last one but now we moved it up so it is now the the third one from the bottom and and over here when you click inside it you will see your um <laughs> you will see that the platform so i am i'm just i'm just reading the comments and a lot of comments so michael i've seen your questions but please let me just go through the the, the video first and then you can ask your questions at the end because most of these things i will already answer so please just wait a bit for the video and yeah just just be patient my friend just please okay um dashboard is here you will be able to see your statistics the contacts opens and clicks this is very important when you are sending out emails you really want to know who opened it or what's the percentage of people who opened it and how many people clicked on it in case you did a, a broadcast or in case you did like a, an email campaign previously you can go in and really filter the dates okay so i had my launch for the first from the first till the 15th so then you can choose from the first till the 15th and you will see the contacts that you got the opens and the clicks that went in um basically that for for your campaign okay so this is what you see on the home page over here when you click on the home Inside the leads tab, this is where you should start. In case you open the Groove Mail, this is where you would need to come. So, as they say, money is in the list. The list is something that you need, need to create first to actually get in the people signed up to your uh, to your email list. So, I was testing this out previously, just a couple of min minutes ago, and I created two uh, lists. But I will delete them, and we can start from scratch. Okay. So let's just delete this and then let me explain what a list is. I created a, a video on this one. When you are working with email and when you actually have a, have a website and a form where you're asking the name and the email and other details from the customers so that they type it in and this list, so this list in GrooveMail will be collecting this information. So it will be name Anna. Last name, banana, um, email, anna.banana.gmail.com, or things like this. This is the list of your customers, and this is the, the list of people that are interested in what you have to offer, and they, these are this is the list of people that want to hear from you again. So to create a list, it is pretty simple. You give it a name. For example, I will just do um, lemon newsletter. Um, list okay i'll just add on list as, as a name of it so that we can differentiate it later and as a description my suggestion is to add a description who is coming to this list so uh, this is for everybody that subscribed subscribe to receive the newsletter okay. create a list there we go so lemon newsletter list i'm just doing this for training just so that we have some differentiation now the next list i list i want to create is the list of all the contacts that will have um for example if i put put out a course then they can come over here so uh lemon course let's just say lemon paid course list these are the people this is for the people that um, are interested in the paid course okay Take a list now i have two lists so on one i will receive everybody from one page on my website which will be for a newsletter and on the other one i can put the the contacts in from my funnel for the people that are interested in my in my paid course okay so this is a list this is basically a collection of email addresses and other details that are needed for 
um, for for coming basically for, for for being able to to contact them again later. So this is for list. Now the leads leads is something different. Leads are the the people. These are the contacts that are on the list. So in case you want to add a new lead, for example, um, in case you are a um, physical business, let's just say you are a service-based business and then you want to put in a lead, you can just click on new lead. You add on their details uh, over here, first name, last name, email, phone number, company, da 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 And later on, when, when you want to email these people, then you will be able to do it. So for example, when when could we use something like this? You own a hair salon and you have a, a person that just came into your shop. They didn't come in through your website or something like that. And they left their details for them to be contacted again later on. So in this case, you would come over here, you would add a new lead, type in their email, their name and things like this. And then you can send out later on emails to them because you added them on into your uh, into your email software, which is GrooveMail at this point, okay? Then tags. So we can add a tag. For example, I have here a new member or a new newsletter member, or I will create a new tag, um, um, paid course member, um, or a free course member in case you have also a course that you give out for free and then you encourage them to upgrade for a paid version of it. You then give a description of what this is for. Um, this is the person that purchased the paid version of the course. Okay, category. Then you can add here a category um, that you want. So create a new category. This is a category for tags. For example, over here, I created two categories. One will be for the newsletter because this is something else. It is not my course, but this is a newsletter and a lemon course. So you can categorize your tag. So a paid course member will not be going into the category of the newsletter because it is related to a course. So we can do different categories over here. For example, if I would have another product, which would be a template library or something, template something. So lemon templates. Then I can add a category and add on different tags for that category as you can see here it didn't immediately add it on it just added it here in the drop down so now i can choose which one i want but as a paid course member i want the category to be the course and then i can create a tag the tag is very important when you want to say um when somebody signs up to your to your email list you can tag them that this is now a new member okay and after receiving certain uh, certain emails or after they purchased you can tag them differently like after that they are not a, a free member they are a paid member now and these tags are something that you can follow and later on segment the tags and this is this next step you can segment the people so everybody that that are that is on my course list but is a new member not a paid member send them an email and things like this so this is a new segment for segmenting paid members. Okay, so here you can actually set up different things like um, in this new, in this segment, I want everybody subscribed to list that is, uh, that is the lemon paid course list or actually everybody in my da database that that doesn't have a tag, this is a category, so this, these are categories over here, that doesn't have a tag uh, paid course member, send them an email. So this is everybody that is not a paid course member, send them an email um, like, please upgrade or something like this. So the segmentation is very important. It is very cool to that, that we have that. And this is where everything comes in place. So you can do, um, take these people, but not these people. So in case you want, you don't want anybody that is subscribed to, to the newsletter list, okay? So 
everybody that is on the lemon course list but not but exclude everybody from the newsletter list okay and things like this you can really dive into and, and specifically target the people that you want and this is where the tags and lists and segments come in so once you have that you can just click save and exit and now you have a segment you have for example 98 active leads that you can target that are uh that are going to be receiving the, the email for example so this is the leads tab we just went over it quickly um let me just see if there are any questions over here uh opu is watching us great good to see you here opu um awesome perfect a lot of people are watching us i believe 130 uh, love the segment visual absolutely it is very good i'm doing the steps as you explain them this is great thank you very much um yeah so leads are not part of any lists um when you add a list when you add a lead for example you can decide where you want them okay so assign list you can see here this is where you assign the list an not very good question and you can also assign a tag so for example you can create a list that is for for all your subscribers or all the people that that came in to your physical business let's just say as we continue with the example you have a hair salon and everybody that signed up through your hair salon through this create a new lead a list you can assign them a list um subscribe in shop or something like this this will be your your list where you target the people that didn't visit your website first but they came into your physical location first okay and you can assign them the tag for example um walk in shop walk in or something like that so then you know that this lead came into the shop first whenever you're sending them messages later on um this will be also staying in the lead um information you will see the tags so this was a, a walk-in that is receiving this sequence that is come that purchased this product so later on groove mail will be serving as a crm uh, at one point when this new features are added on to and the more tags you have the more uh, information you can see about the customer you will know okay so you are the person that came into my shop that didn't visit the website first and then they purchased my course because they are interested in, and things like this so in a create a new lead you can add those details on there so campaigns here we have broadcast sequences and there will be the third option which will be automations the automations tab is coming i believe um either this week by the end of this week or next week so this is not the full uh groove mail as you probably thought of um we are com com we are planning to continually add new and new things into it so broadcasts I created a broadcast what is a broadcast broadcast is something that you send out once you want to send out to to your email list an email so this is not something that is that is like first this email then this email then this email this is just one email you want to really send out for example um, webinar replay okay so after the webinar you can you can create this broadcast very quickly and send it to everybody that watched the, the webinar this is a broadcast a sequence is send them first this email then this email then this email um and the broadcast is just send them one email okay so this is the difference broadcast and sequences we clicked on broadcasts so let's just explore this one a bit so it is a very very in intuitive way of creating your your emails and um it is following the the groove cell type of a of a creation for example here you are creating your campaign which will be um i don't know webinar with donna fox okay i was talking to donna today and we will have a webinar tomorrow so i'm just creating a broadcast to quickly send out an email about the webinar okay so uh last minute broadcast for inviting people to the webinar 
road. Here we go. Save and next. So the communication gateway, you want to send an email or send by SMS. We will have SMS integration with Twilio. This will be coming out this month. I don't have a hard date yet. It will be something that you create your account with Twilio. Twilio is a company that creates um, it's one of the most popular uh, platform for SMS and voice communication. So here you will be able to create your account set up a set up a paid account for uh, for having a number like a telephone number and also a package where you get x amount of credits for send, sending x amount of of sms you can do pay as you go or 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 volume uh, purchase for example here programmable sms starting at 0 0.0075 to send or receive a message okay and then you can get one of these one of these uh, accounts with twilio you will be able to integrate it with groovemail and send broadcasts out with sms as well and if you are using sms with groovemail you'll be able to create sms funnels because we have uh, the sequence planner which is send this sms then if somebody um clicks somewhere then send them another sms and things like this so these are funnels that you create using email or sms um which is coming soon and, and i'm super stoked about this so send their name send uh send them from email and reply to email as you can see these are forms that are pre-filled and you cannot click on this at this moment now this is one of the changes that yesterday when i was testing it was an option so let me just show you here and I believe they disabled this one because uh, they are doing some changes on this one. So what you see now, as I mentioned it previously, what you see, what you are seeing in the in GrooveMail at this point of me showing it to you, um, it is not the complete the complete version of it. So when we create a campaign, Okay, so this is already the sequence. Um, I just want to, to show you the recording of me when I was testing it yesterday. It was much, much different and a lot of things were working. But anyway, um, so what I wanted to just say is that I believe this was turned off by purpose, but I believe this will come on as an option to change this uh, at a later point. So let's just save an X. And then here, communication recipients. Who are you sending this to? So you have the people that are subscribed to a list, then you select your list. The people that have tags, um, newsletter or lemon core. So these are the categories of the tags. And then over here, for example, let's just select lemon course. We, you will see the paid course members and the new members of the course. Basically, these are tags. Uh, we tag people when they come to our list then you can select the tags or a segment as you remember we created a segment for segmenting paid members everybody that is on that segment that received uh, that that are on our list but have a tag but do this that do that you can add them to to the campaign okay let's just click add and then you will see here the information from the the segment okay let's just save it next and over here you create your email this is very similar to to gmail you type in the subject let's just say um, um awesome webinar with on a fox tomorrow you don't miss Okay, or something like that for a subject here the preview will be when you are in your inbox and then you just see a snippet of a little bit of of the 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 email uh, for example you will see the subject and just a little little piece of the email of what it talks about for example when you click on this one you can see the the the, the subject so this is the first line is the center then there is a subject then a little piece of or a snippet of the email and this is the preview text what you can type in you can create your custom preview text or in case you don't type in anything in case you just start typing out your email then this will be shown as a preview text i will just leave it out 
but let's just start with hi and then i want to mention their name like for example if if anna signs up i want to say hi anna so this is where the dynamic variables come in so i will click on the first name so i want to say hi first name okay and i actually don't want it below but i want it next here so hi anna uh i really don't want you i'll not write the complete email um i want you to miss this awesome webinar with donna okay. i'll just leave it at that um so what we did is we created something that is taking in the, the details from our leads from our list so if there is a, a lead which is called Anna Banana. Okay, so Anna is the first name, Banana is the last name. We want to say hi first name, so which will be hi Anna. And these are the dynamic variables. If they fill out their email, you can type in, like because you signed up with your email and then you click on this one and then it shows them the email, anna.banana at gmail.com or whatever. Um, so these are the dynamic variables. You just need to click on the white part over here and then this will insert it in the in the email you can also copy it like that um and then paste it but you can just simply click on it and it and then it works um so these are the dynamic variables people were asking me how to put in uh links so yesterday when i was testing this out we had a button for links and so let me just try to show you a part where i was doing i believe this was also uh turned off for a reason so i just went into the the forms eh, here we go um we had as you can see here this is what we've seen uh, what i've seen yesterday so there was a bold a italic a link and tables and all kinds of images and things like this so i believe um with our update with the ui update as you can see here it looks different than what we have now um certain elements were not added in but this will be coming i believe because like tables and things like this and links absolutely we need to have here so i believe this was left out for a reason maybe it was giving some issues um and and bugs but this will be added on later on but for now you can just type in https colon da 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 google.com okay so you can just use links for now if you create your emails this way or you can just type in click here and then once we have that link button you just you just select this text link it in using that uh, that button for the linking which is this one over here okay so as you can see a lot has changed so confirmation email was was over here and success page this is not anymore over here but it is now in the next step so this is now our email let's just save and, and click next okay so send now you can do immediate like sent to everybody on that list or in the segment or with the tags or you can schedule it for later it is in eastern standard time this may be confusing for somebody but i believe we will be adding on a time zone selector in the account at a later point which will make it more dynamic so you will set up the time that suits your needs so at this moment it is still in east in and set up in easter standard time because um we just had to decide one of the times and our, since our company is um in eastern standard time and most of the trainings are done in eastern standard time this is where it was decided so if i want to send out i know i'm in central europe if i want to send out an email at 6 p.m my time i know that this is 12 um oops i know that this is 12 a.m sorry 12 p.m eastern standard time okay so i just set this up and it will be sent out at 6 p.m my time for this one i suggest you to use a, a google converter or time converter that you find in google this will be working the best in case you want to transfer eastern standard time to your own time zone or you can save it as a draft in case you're not quite fully ready to to 
send it out yet, you can just save it as a draft and I will do that exactly. So you can see finish. Congratulations, your broadcast has been saved as a draft. Broadcast is name is this one and the sender is this one. As I said previously, I believe the sender information will be able to change and I was able to change that yesterday over here. Let me just see if it, it can be done over here. Okay, so as you see here, I had uh, the send by email. You can choose, you can basically type in your own details over here, the sender name, sender email, and things like that. On a test, uh, on a test server, it was working. I believe this was turned off because it was giving some trouble with the live version. Um, I also wanted to mention when we are. We are working on a test server, and let me just show you how a test server looks like. And this is a test server. So you can see here, test.grooveapps.com. When I come over here, it is something that we are using for for testing purposes. So when I click in Groove Mail, it looks pretty similar as as the as the live version, but the the main difference is that this is used by a handful of people and the live version is used by thousands of people at the same time. So whenever we deploy an app that was working fully in the test version, most, or not most, a lot of things will be uh, will be different when a thousand and 50,000 people are using it at the same time. So in case you find bugs, this is why we are working this way, that we we fully finished uh, the, the app on a test version when we deploy it. This is where we need the help from you guys to report the things that you find. So in case you find, again, in case you found a bug with with GrooveMail or any other app, please head over to the feedback.groovefunnels.com site and report the bugs. For example, GrooveMail bugs is here available. There is already a couple of posts in case you in case you don't see the bug that you want to report over here, uh, you can just create a new post. In case you see it already, just upvote it. Okay, so like click on this button, then you can simply upvote it, and it will be getting on a higher priority for our um, for our developers. As I mentioned in my intro of this video, the the bugs that the members reported for Groove Member. Um, I heard the news that 95, 96 percent of these bugs were already already cleared on our test servers. So basically the, the, the code is already done. We're just finishing and doing the last checks and it will be probably deployed this week by the end of this week or at the beginning of next week. So this is something our developers are looking at and following. So please, in case you find the bugs, don't go to support, don't go to, to, to email me or, or message me don't put it on Facebook because the developers are not there. Developers are watching this one, okay? They're not on support. They're not waiting for you to email them there. So with that said, um, this was the broadcast. Let's just go into sequences. So sequences is something that I played with and I liked it the most. So you create a sequence and I explained it previously. The sequence is um, a way, uh, like a certain steps, like send this thing, then tag them, then send another email, then do this, then do that. And this is a sequence. Um, you probably heard like an onboarding sequence and welcome sequence and things like this. Sequence means send them a series of emails that are, for example, um, when somebody signs up to your program, send them an email immediately, then wait one day and then send them an email again and things like this. And this is a sequence. So multiple emails, multiple calls to actions, uh, lined up nicely so then the person that signed up to your email list that receives the sequence will go through and receive all those uh, those emails that you want to send it out. So let's just say and that we want to have a welcome sequence for the course. Okay, perfect. So here we can just type in a description and I suggest you to do this every time. Uh, this is a sequence. People will get once they sign up to the, um, sign up 
for the course freebie like that or something like that so i have a course and i have a landing page where i'm giving away a piece of the course or a, or a downloadable pdf or something like that if somebody signs up to get this downloadable pdf they will start receiving the sequence they it will say thank you very much for subscribing here is your pdf uh, in the next couple of days you will be hearing from us about the course da 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 da, da, da. so you can tell them uh, in an email one why the course was created email two um like who are you to give advice and things like this so this is a sequence creator and i'm so happy about this one because this is a visual way and for example you can add a trigger and you can have here for example the tags if somebody subscribed and have a tag for our new newsletter subscriber you can add them over here i can see a bit of things that are not working properly so i'll just jump over to the test account over here and continue doing the sequence there so because it is more stable on here because i believe less people are using it so as you can see i was giving it my all and i was testing it uh like like you should um Okay, so let's just delete everything from the page and let's start from scratch. Okay. There we go, save. And let's just do a new sequence. So this is a new sequence now. As you can see, we have here, let me just zoom in a bit. We have um, we have triggers. So if somebody comes to to our page or somebody uh, that we want to to send this sequence to has or gets a tag, for example, I'm on templates. This is on my test account, okay? Or is on the list for for my course or something like that so we can add those people in and then or whoever filled out the form that we created we can create forms as well i'll get to that one at the mo uh, a bit later um we'll start to get these uh these details so once you fill this out you need to press the done button and then it will show up here okay so everybody that was selected will be getting this uh this email sequence so after we know who do we want to target, we, we need to tell them what we want to do after that. So we want to send them an email, of course. You can uh, drag this visually on the, on the canvas, which is cool. And here immediately when we open this one, send email, we have a uh, name of the broadcast. We can create our broadcast over here immediately. Um, so I want to say, welcome the course plus freebie okay so this is the name of the broadcast this is not the name of the email okay so here we'll be able to have our own servers i believe at later point or you can choose groove mail servers um sender name sender information will be able to change i believe because these are form fields um and then subject we can just type in now what the subject of the email will be welcome plus freebie okay and then the preview text this is the little snippet that i showed you previously in the emails whenever you receive it there is a uh, this is the 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 heading or, or a title of the email and then the this little piece of text is just uh, the preview of the email then you fill this email over here you'll be able to edit it from within the sequence editor add on the dynamic variables you need and you can turn on the send status to sorry to active which means immediately it is activated okay so when we click done this is our send email this will turn on a red or pink at a later point in time i believe this is giving up a, a bit of a uh, bit of delays or a bit of issues so let's just refresh the page and see if it if, if it works so if it is on the right hand side that means it's turned on okay if it is on the left hand side it is turned off uh this will be color coded and i'll show you later on, on a different elements over here so yeah 
if somebody comes to our page let's just zoom in a bit we can send them an sms as well in case you connect your twilio account at a later point in time you'll be able to send an sms it will be send uh selecting uh an sms gateway you will name the the broadcast for example welcome sms like that and with the content hello welcome to my course or welcome to thank you for signing up uh da, 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 da. you just write out your test text or an sms and you can turn it on to active okay so now you can see here it is inactive but it is on the right hand side as i said it is on the on the right when it is active it is a little bug that it needs to be fixed but normally you will see this kind of of red or a, a pink and it will say active over here as well for emails for whenever you're sending something so this was when somebody immediately signed up if i want to delay it a little bit like okay so i send out my first email and a first sms i want to do a time delay so i want the people or i want the software to be waiting one day um, and then send out a new email so then you have here a different options right after the previous step so wait a number of days and hours i want to wait one day and you can also wait until a specific date in case you have a course that you are launching at x date then you can um you can set that up over here wait for one day i'll just leave it at that you can choose your days if you for example don't want to bug your customers on on weekend you can just unselect the sunday and saturday and then they will get the first email uh, the first thing on monday you can also set up the time if you don't want to to send an email to your customers at for example 3 a.m in the morning when they are sleeping you can set up the time um, from what time till what time okay this will be the easiest thing to to set up um once you know who is active when or, or is this a launch or basically you will know when your customers are opening emails so then is the best time to send so once you're done click the done button and it will immediately display it will say inactive but this is just a bug we'll get this fixed and once it is back on active it will be red it will be waiting for one day and zero hours and then sending out the new uh, new email or something that you want to do if you want you can also add tags like add a tag for tagging people receive the welcome email or something like that um you can add tags over here but you need to create the tags previously inside the tag uh, option from the from the dashboard okay so we'll just leave this here you can also do subscribe to a different list let's just say that this is the end of our sequence so we sent out a welcome email we added a tag and now we want to subscribe them to a different list let's just say that this is the list where we have i don't know where we will collect the people that went through the first stage of the welcome email or welcome uh, sequence so we'll just turn this off and then turn it on and then we will select the the list that we want to send them and just say done okay so if it is on the right hand side even if it says inactive it is active so that's basically it you can do conditional splits if the conditions match so for example if the user it has a tag this and this category and then this tag uh but doesn't have this and things like that um does not have a tag something else then do this okay then you can send them a different email which will be connected like that or we can send them an sms here where is it okay here so i don't want this but i want to send them an sms okay as you can see it is a bit buggy it is a bit delayed but that's basically let's just save it and come back into it just to see that it changed okay so as you can see it is becoming a bit of a mess on our canvas over here so i was playing with it and i found a way where you can 
not only drag one of one of these at a time but you can click on a couple of them and then pull this wherever you want so in case you click the control or the command button on your on your pc you can select the the ones that you want and then and then while holding the control or the command you can select multiple boxes at the same time and then rearrange them on the page okay like that so I'm still holding the control or the command. Once I release it, look what happens. Then it doesn't allow me to pull the whole thing at the same time. So control, command, then you select the boxes, you select the elements you want to drag, and then you will be able to, um, to pull on the canvas uh, the elements that you want. Um, we also have go to go to is the next step next sequence send an email send an SMS you can you can have them go to the different sequence so this is good with the conditional logic if somebody is already a member you don't want to send them the emails which say uh, which promote the, the course but you want to send them to a different step which already talks about thank you very much for getting into course or something like that um so you can select that over here and basically this is the sequence creator you need to play with it it is the best way to learn to to play with it once it is more stable once it is not only a couple of hours old we will go in there and then we will be connecting this with groove pages and doing courses on this about email marketing and how to send them all out and things like this i was holding back i didn't want to do this with mailchimp and avaber and other platforms because i don't want to teach how to use those they have their own people teaching how to use those platforms but i will be teaching you guys how to use the sequences and basically groove mail so these were the campaigns over here forms we can create our own forms and this is so awesome and i'm so happy we have this so i'm still on the test account let me just go back to our live account so we have over here forms let's just create a, a new form and let's just say that this is the welcome or um newsletter subscription form okay so i want to create a form which people will fill out in order to come to receive my newsletter so it's very simple like we have a new field we want to add a new field that is said last name let's click save and we have now email first name last name okay we can add on a new field which will be a phone number save and now we have email, last name, first name, last name, phone number. If you want to have, I don't know, a URL or postal code or something like that, you can ask for these details as well. But in case you want to have not a URL, but you want to ask for the website, so you come over here to create a custom field, and instead of uh, instead of this URL, you can type in website. This will be the name ID or the input ID that you probably know about this one if you created uh, forms or connected forms inside Groove Pages. The field identifier is the ID or the name ID of the form field, okay? So here in the text input, you can choose if you want to, to have a text input, which is a short, short piece of text, text area, which is like a message, which is a bigger, bigger box for typing a lot of uh, paragraphs at the same time a drop down menu or radio buttons okay so i just want this to be text input and i want it to say your website awesome you can make this mandatory or or not mandatory but you can click save okay as you can see now nothing is showing up because we just created a custom field we just we didn't choose it okay so you come over here to add a existing field that you created and you can see here website you can click this and it says your website because that's the the placeholder text we we put in there in case you want to change this you can click on this button and then edit it using the custom field option over here so that is it let's just create um let's just create a question for example i want to create a custom field which will be um 
Um, question one, like that. And I want to do radio buttons, okay? I want the first one be yes. Mm, this will be field label. Are you new to uh, online marketing? And then the value will be yes. Edit. And another value will be no. Perfect. So we can save this one. And we can add on this existing field, which was the question one. And it will be a question, are you new to online marketing? And you can choose either yes or no. As you can see, these are radio buttons. You cannot do multiple ones at the same time. If you want, you can add on a different field, which is the checkboxes, um, where it allows you to, to check multiple boxes at the same time. So... Um, and then the, the field label is basically the label, uh, the title of the question, which will be saying, um, what niche are you in? What industry are you in? And I can add um, health, wealth, relationships I'm just coming uh, out of my head with these with these questions and things like this I just want to to showcase the the options over here okay so you can actually go to existing fields click the custom field niche and now you have a question where you're asking people what industry you're in and it will allow people to to check multiple options as you can see here with the radio boxes with the radio buttons you can only choose one of them so let's just say that this is now our form and we are ready to to to, to go on to the next step opt-in settings so opt-in is if you want the if somebody fills out this form should they receive an email to confirm they will uh, receive an email which will which will say, uh, please confirm that you would like to receive emails from this sender or something like that. You can actually um, customize the email. You can customize the email that will be sent out. We just need you to confirm your subscription by clicking the link below. And it says here, opt-in confirmation link. This is the link they will need to click. You can change the subject, uh, put in the preview text and also uh, send them to a confirmation page um, which will say congratulations, you you opted in, or something like that. Um, after they clicked that that link from the email, okay. So if if you turn on the double opt-in, what will happen is the user will come to your site, fill out the form. They will receive an email which will say, "We just need you to uh, confirm your subscription." Click the link below. They will click on this link, and then they will be sent over to the confirmation page, which you should create yourself in a group pages or somewhere, which will say, uh, thank you very much for, uh, for confirming, uh, visit this page or something else. Or just a single opt-in when they actually fill out the form, that's more than enough. Uh, most European countries with the GDPR, they actually require the double opt-in in, in uh, the... Americas, I believe, a single opt-in is still a, an option, but double opt-in is done by bigger companies just to just to secure themselves from any legal battles in the future. Um, great. So this is the opt-in settings. I'll just leave it on a single opt-in. Good. Welcome email. You can send an, a welcome email automatically to everybody that uh, that fills out your form. Yes, remember we are now in the create the form section. If somebody fills out the form, you can send them an email or let me just. Good. Um, you can send them an email or you can choose not to send them an email. I'll just choose this one. 
configure list tags and sequences. So if somebody fills out if this form that we created now, who are they going to be? Like what list are they going to? Let's just put in new lemon newsletter list. Okay, add um, what tags will they get? Any tags? Like let's just tag them with a newsletter category. And then over here we have the actual tag that we set up: new newsletter subscriber, something like that. Will they get? in a sequence immediately. Like if somebody fills out this form, will they receive a sequence? So let's just go in and let's just create a welcome suite sequence that we just created. And I believe it was this one. Okay, it may not show this one. I believe this is an, a bug as well. So let's just don't subscribe them to a sequence. But this is something um, that will be very handy. So if somebody fills out the form, you can actually start them immediately on receiving these uh, these emails. And then this is a link that we can embed on our page. So that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to copy this one. And this is used when you go into your page builder and you actually embed your code and it will look like this. As you can see very, uh, very slightly on the page, it says first name, last name, email, da, da, da. But if we change this code over here to the one that we just created to the form that we created. Um, it is showing up very, um, not very well over here, but um, it looks like that. So as this platform is fairly new, um, you may have seen when you wanted to play with the, the form itself that either you preview it or you publish it, it doesn't show up quite correctly. It shows up the part of it. Um, this is being fixed as we speak. Um, most probably by the end of this week, we will have a fix for it. And I also heard from the developers that we will put in um, GrooveMail and the other apps into my integration tab. So in case you will have an integration, you will be able to choose here Groove Mail for now. Uh, at the later point, we will have elements over here. As we created now with Groove Cell and Groove Cell Checkout, we'll have elements for Groove Mail and for Groove Video and for Groove Member and all kinds of different widgets we will have available inside the Elements tab also in Groove uh, Pages and Groove Cart, this will be available at the at the later point. It's just that we still need to do all kinds of backend updates in order for this to be to be done. But the embed code will be available and it will be showing up nicer than here um, by the end of this week or beginning of next week. So this is the code you use to embed it. So this is a form embed code. You need to use it using the, using this, where is it? There we go. Code and code embed element inside the elements tab on either Groove Cart or Groove Pages. Okay, so once you pull this in, you just click here this cogwheel and you will be able to paste it in. Now I've seen that, um, that the the form and the, and the form fields are not editable at this moment and this is where we will be able to create our own designs using the same form fields uh when we have the integration done so we'll just need to be waiting a bit longer for that one um but i'm super happy that we have this already done so let's just click save and exit and then move on to the next one so we created a form using this option you can also create just the custom fields as you see we created a three of them inside the inside when we were actually working with the forms and um, we have the custom fields over here. So in case you want to prepare before creating your forms uh, to do the custom fields yourself, you can do that, that one here. Analytics, here we will see how many people signed up to our lists, how many people started or received the broadcasts, like how many people opened, clicked, and how many people received it, and see how many people are, or what are our sequences. We will have more information on this page at a later point. Settings, sender information, sender name, sender email, you can set this up yourself if you want. Uh, if you have, for example, one business, in case you will have multiple businesses, broadcasts and sequences, you will be able to type in your details uh, separately there. And then business information, 
you can choose a, a default a global unsubscribe text for example i no longer want to hear or receive emails from from david lemon you can set up your company name and the address which could which will show up and at the bottom of the email that is being sent out and then admin here you will have different options to tweak i still need to find out what these things are bounce mail settings and block ip settings i'm not 100 percent sure what this is so i don't want to give you any false information so i'll make sure i check this before give you uh, updates on that one campaigns here you can see how many campaigns you have and what are the uh, soft bounces hard bounces clicks opens and things like that and then the forms you can see everything about the forms how many submissions what are the unique impressions and things like this you can also see the subscriber details when you have actual subscribers that's in the admin panel i believe this will be pushed up to the analytics but we're still working on that one so it has been one hour exactly one hour and one minute and now we went through just an overview of groove mail so tell me tell me guys is this something that you are happy with and can you imagine it using for your own business um if you are just type in the comments i would like to hear from you i can see a lot of questions over here so i'll try to give my answers there um but just to tell you my feedback i'm super stoked about this one i'm so happy with this sequence builder I cannot tell you. And the, the fact that you can build out your email inside the sequence builder. So when you go in here, sequences, and you start to edit it. Um, okay, so it doesn't, doesn't like me going in there. But let's just open it here inside the test account. Um, when you go and edit it, you can... <laughs> okay so we have happy people we don't have have happy people but people are saying long way to go i don't actually agree with this one there are good things and there are bad things um when you're developing software one of the one of the things one of the bad things is that it requires time i know that you are probably thinking that you will be now making millions immediately from today with this software itself but it's just not something that that you should think about when the software is in beta and just a couple of uh, hours old but i don't see admin in my account okay i'm not sure why it is showing up for me um ah maybe because this is i'm, I'm actually don't, not sure why this is very awesome yes i know more updates and fixers are coming but this is awesome i will be able to cancel the infusion soft account soon if it only worked yeah but there are optim optimists and pessimists and i cannot change your minds it's just something you will be able to um to like test yourself and play with it uh alicia saying yes for sure aesthetic awesome uh eric we won't be making millions immediately i'm unfortunately <laughs> have to break it to you you will not there are people that were very very reliant on when this comes out immediately that exact second they will be able to cancel their subscriptions i have to be honest with you guys this is not something i would suggest to you just keep it for a month and wait until GrooveMail receives a couple of uh, of upgrades or or updates sorry and as well upgrades we will be adding on this this sms feature and a couple more features that were taken out like for example adding links uh, because i believe they were giving us a bit of issues on the live servers so it's just new things and better things are coming from here it's an awesome start looking forward to having it working absolutely thank you very much wayne um looks good definitely more updates and i'm happy to happy with the progress so far awesome um how long will this be in beta what sort of time frame till it gets launched to the broader market bug free um nothing is bug free like for example if you go into Streamyard, it says 
um, there is currently a bug with Facebook that is causing the view on Facebook link to show a page is, isn't available message. All Facebook streams are working normally and your viewers will be able to see your streams once you are live. Facebook is working to resolve the issue. So even Facebook is having bugs. So if you're looking for a bug-free software, it's, it's hard that you will find any. Um, things like this can be ironed out, but there is no time frame <laughs> for me to say, okay, yeah, after um, 5th of May, you will be able to have the fully complete software without a bug. That's just not realistic. And, and it's just like, it comes, bugs are good. Bugs happen when, um, when the development is being done. And if there are no bugs, most probably the development just stopped. So... Um, great group mail is released, but group member is down. Um, I'm not sure. We'll need to have a look. Super excited. Thank you very much, David, for teachings. Uh, thanks. Looks like it will be great. I'm glad it's finally released. Absolutely. Um, if you want a bug free, use Hello World example. <laughs> exactly. Um, happy people here. I understand programming takes time. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Yari. Um, framework, uh, framework looks great. Absolutely. Lots of issues here. You can create sequences, can customize your field, can add a list. So this is one of the of the optimists I can see. Um, I will wait a bit longer before trying again. Absolutely. You do what you uh, what you think is the best for yourself. Um, as I said. I do not recommend you canceling your uh, platforms immediately as this is, software is just a couple of uh, hours old on the live servers. Don't go in there and thinking that you can do everything that you can do with a couple of years old software that you are paying for. If you are on a lifetime account, uh, you will be able to use GrooveMail fully very very soon um for now we'll just need to iron out these bugs and for that one i i ask you please just to help us out and come over here to groove mail bugs whenever you find something don't post it in in the facebook as i mentioned again today i had to decline 50 something posts uh, because it's just not the place for that one this is what we what we look at and this is where we where these things should be not in the facebook group okay so Groove mail and basically any bugs come to feedback.groovefunnels.com uh, website. Um, it's going to make life so much easier. Absolutely, I agree with this 100%. Uh, the bugs are not the problem. If they were not working on it, it would uh, be a problem. That is correct. Um, great. So, very similar to Kartra. Uh, we will have things that are like Kartra, but that is not where we are stopping. We want to actually do um, a lot of extra things. Um, what Kartra will not have or will not have, will didn't plan. So what you see now is just a start. When Groove video came out, um, it was published and it, the people said that it, it, it is looking very similar to, to Groove video, but two days later, it received, uh, or we had a different idea of creating a much more usable, much more um, user-friendly um, dashboard. And this will also be coming up most probably by the end of this week or uh, at the beginning of next week. So Groove Video is getting a, a haircut. Um, we are cutting away all the, uh, all the unnecessary steps and tweaks and things like this what are shouldn't be there also groove member like for example let's just see if it works or not uh, when you go in to your membership the first thing it asks you to edit the name like that is not necessary because when you go in to edit that the first thing it asks you again to edit the name so things like this are getting cut out we don't need this and it is it is getting changed and we are updating it and we are we are working on it constantly so if you uh, if you revisit groove mail in a week or two i believe it will be looking differently completely so i believe it is the time where i go in and answer your questions ladies and gentlemen so let me just open this one and then go in and answer the questions thank you david for the test environment demo a lot of things do not work in live 
test looked okay for you your uh, demo but live is what we need please give us a realistic update for working live version teasing demo is good for marketing but not for our business lucian <laughs> it's like I explained this previously. Thank you very much for your feedback. But I mentioned it. If we are in a test demo, six people are using it. And the live demo, there, it is the same code. It's just published on a different server where thousands of people have access to it. This is when things break. And this is when we can actually really test our software. So what we do is create a fully capable platform on our test environment. And then we push it out to the live environment. And this is where things get different and things get active because it is on a different environment with a lot more people using it. And this is something we will need to go in and fix after that. We cannot fix it before the issues actually happen. So thank you very much, Lucian. I explained this previously, but now there is one again. Um, so I can see a lot of people are asking things that are not relevant to GrooveMail. So I'll just skip over those. Um, had the same situation with pages, but look at the difference now. As David said, it takes time. Absolutely. Okay. So errors on different platforms. I will not be answering those. I want to keep this a Groove Mail related video. I use my personal email to sign up. Okay, um, for the lifetime, can I send their email so that my business email would appear instead of my personal email? Yes, at a later point, this will be coming with an upgrade. Um, When I embed a form in a page, nothing shows. And when I save the page, I get error message invalid data. Yes, this is being worked on. I may have missed it, but where is the ability to import lists? So if you were not watching the past couple of webinars with Mike or basically haven't visited the infographic page, I'll just do this for you. GrooveFunnels.com forward slash infographic. And we mentioned on a previous webinars that the import feature is not coming immediately. It is coming after 30 days or so. You'll be able to import your list into uh, GrooveMail, Autoresponder, and CRM. This is coming over here later on this, uh, this month because this requires some extra um, stability and people have tens of thousands and hundred thousands of contacts. And while the the platform is still like buggy, as you've seen, um, some of the things are not stable enough for list import. So this is coming at a later point in time. Also, um, by the end of this week or next week, um, at the beginning of next week, we'll have the automations function as well inside GrooveMail. So that is going to be added as well. Um, okay. Can you redirect to a URL after they filled out the form? So this will be coming inside Groove Pages. This will not be a function of Groove Mail. Um, so when they fill out the form, as you do in Groove Pages now, you send them to a URL. Does Groove have Zap uh, Zapier yet or Zapier? Yes, we do have Zapier. There is a video on that one. It works with Groove Pages at this moment, um, but it will be added on to other things as well at a later point. Will it be possible to send a PDF based on the radio button selection? Yeah. Can you send SMS irrespective of, of your location? I'm in Australia. If so, how much will it cost? Thank you. This is the SMS and the pricing is on Twilio. So please have a look at Twilio. I believe uh, Roger answered that one. Um, so the pricing and the different countries and the different numbers. So for example, if you're in Australia, you will probably have to have a different telephone number that is going to be sending the, uh, the SMS uh, broadcasts and the sequences then 
it will have to be different than from from the us from from europe so for that one you need to get on twilio and have a look there um david i tested sequences are not functional on live server yes i I've seen that as well. This is why I wanted to show you in this video with a test account. It is the same code basically. It's just because of the, um, and it is it is being fixed because of the a lot of people being on there at the same time. It is not um, working as on this on the test account. Could we start? A sequence from a list already created once you have the list import feature you'll be able to just import it inside of groove mail and uh, start sending them out emails as you probably seen my latest answer sequences are not functional on the live server so once that is fixed as well you'll be able to do that i'll admit i'm i'm looking for the infusion soft killer good you found it just give it a bit of time. Can you try and edit the broadcast or sequence you get an error message? Yes, I've seen this. Um, when and where the replay, we will be pleased, had to power cut through the presentation. No problem at all. It will be immediately available uh, after the live stream ends. Um, The affiliates have already gotten Groove domain links banned on Facebook. This is thankfully for the lovely people that were very, very careful in promoting their links. And I would use 100% our own SMTP for this. Good. Given on what we've seen on Facebook affiliates, but do we need to be worried about spam complaints for other Groove mail users impacting us? Um, this is something we are looking into. I don't know the details. This is beyond me i'm a community person like a training person but the developers i believe have already their plans um could we import list that was already answered hyperlinks into emails that was answered uh, what's the difference between groove mail and any other email automation like get response and mailchimp so that's a good one um get response and mailchimp you have to duct tape with your your website platforms and things like this. So you need API connections or Zapier or things like that. Groove Mail will be integrated very deeply with the whole Groove suite of tools. So in case you have, you sell your products on GrooveCart, for example, you'll be able to, to start an automation. You'll be, you'll be able to start a sequence when somebody purchases a product from you. Or if you're selling things in a funnel, then, if somebody purchased one of the products but not the upsell then send them this email encourage them to to upsell or basically to to upgrade to the, the to, to purchase the upsell as well uh, and things like this like it will be deeply integrated with mailchimp sometimes you can do that on certain platforms but most of the times it doesn't allow you to to do these types of things like uh tag this person that this person bought the course but didn't buy the upsell package uh tag them and send them a, a different sequence which shows them the benefits of the upsell package and then hopefully they upgrade uh, or they they purchase that one later on so these types of things you cannot do with mailchimp uh, and get response because they are not so deeply integrated with with the with your sales systems and your website or page building systems and this is why group mail integrated with with everything with the whole group systems is, is much better um, can you include html or short codes in your emails i believe this will be a an option at one point if you have a look in my sneak peek this was on the test server we before um Okay, so it doesn't have an option here, but I believe um, maybe with this video option over here, it allows you to do things like that. But that's a great question, uh, to be honest, as I as you probably see, I'm not sure about this answer. So head over to the feedback and and in Groove Mail. So wherever, whenever you click on over here, Groove Mail, you can request it here. Oop. Okay, again, the sequence error. Yes, we know about this one. 
Hi, David. With, will Twilio work with people outside of US? I'm in Australia. Thanks. Yes, it will be working. Um, Uh, can you change required fields for leads? A lot of us will just have uh, email, maybe first name, but not last name, for example. Um, yes, you can change required fields. Let me just have a look. Um, so we're here, group mail. Let's just go into the forms. Okay. And then over here, you can see that uh, the first name, last name, everything can be deleted. You can just uh, have the email over here in case you don't want anything else. But on the first name, you can uh, make it mandatory. When you save, now this is mandatory. When you want the last name, you can also make it mandatory and save. And now email is important. Email needs to be here. First name and last name are mandatory. The rest is not mandatory. What are you considering as an automation? Is it wait one day before sending? No, this is, this can be done with a sequence, uh, but automations will be connected with other, other different platforms. As a first, um, automations will be um, also, um, like they will be connecting multiple different things. Let's just wait until the end of the week. I don't want to give you any false information and, and if I say something, ah, oh, this will be coming, and if it doesn't come out, then I could be, like, some people just want to see my head on a stick because when I say something, and if it is not that same instant like that, but let's just wait for it to come out by the end of this week, and then, Courtney, you will be able to, uh, to have a look at it. Uh, does it also send out email after five weeks, reminding for a haircut? Absolutely. Um, you, can, you can set it up as, as, as you want. Can we delete the list? Only see archive. Archive is the is a different name for deleting. So let's just go into uh, to the lists. And let's just select this one. Well, I believe now that they changed it to, to delete, but you can. So this was a list. This this is a lead, and this is a tag. I believe it has also delete segments. Um, okay, delete this one as well. Let's just see campaign. So I've seen uh, archive, but archive is a different, for example, webinar with Donna Fox. We can archive this, but it says, uh, are you sure you won't be able to revert it? Yes, delete it. So even if it says archive is just a different name for it, um, I believe at one point we will have an archive somewhere where you will be able to just go in and then see your previous ones so that they don't show all, all of them here, but you will have an archive where um, you will be able to like put away your previous broadcast so that you don't have to create them from scratch again. Um, dun dun dun. Oh my God, so many questions about the import lists. Um, yes, I mentioned this one. This is coming at the later point over here. Um, can you assign a lead to multiple lists? This is a good question and the answer is yes. Do we have automation based on tags or leads? Yes. Great. So I believe I came to the top of the questions. Let's just have a look. Will the, de the developers be working on uh, to maximize the de deliverability? Other autoresponders vary uh, in the deliverability rates. Yes. Where do you integrate Twilio? It is, it is not an option yet. This will be coming. If I bought domains and email address from Google, how does that work with Groove? This is not related to uh, to Groove Mail. Your emails, when you have G Suite account, this is your personal inbox or a business inbox. But Groove Mail is not for that. Groove Mail is a marketing automation software or, or a marketing software that is sending out mass emails. So with your email inbox, you usually send out one uh, emails to one, two, three, four, five. 10 person, usually max. Um, but here you have a list of people, 
like pam 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 all these names and then you say okay send out this email to everybody on my list so that is a difference in the software and GrooveMail is not an inbox not an email inbox GrooveMail is an autoresponder yes so should we have a host for email like gmail or outlook this is an email inbox and email is an autoresponder so this is not connected is there a function to resend automatically if the user did not open original email i believe this will be in automations what is coming out very soon uh, is there analytics how many users opened clicked etc yes inside the analytics you can see how many people see in the broadcast opens clicks recipients and the sequences or the lists you can see how many active contacts you have and also i'm not quite sure why i have but some people don't have this admin but you will be able to see the campaigns things like that and then the forms as well videos to create basic flows to get started with each Groove app. Most of the Groove apps uh, are still being heavily developed, so there is no basic flow. I create uh, videos on things that I believe is available and stable. Um, so if I had a build and it is on our YouTube channel or in the support, you can come over here to, to our YouTube channel. That's the best play, place to go, I, be I believe. Uh, you can go to Groove Digital Videos and then here, um, creating a booking calendar that is active now, um, building a domain for a sale page and things like this. So there is, you can create a lot of things. There is no step-by-step -step flow because some people want to create a website, some people want to create the funnel. So there is no flows like that yet. It will be coming once all these apps are stable enough so we can connect them all together. Um, can we automatically change category of a person lead defined free subscription list to paid list yes you can use tags for that and then inside the sequence you can just change the tags can we import our current so no the import feature is not out yet how many email addresses do we get with groom and i see one but we will have unlimited with unlimited lists um how many email addresses so as i mentioned eric email addresses the from email address um, is going to be dynamic so you can change that one and you will be having as a platinum member you will have unlimited contacts and unlimited lists in case you're on a free account you'll be having um sorry sorry no 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 um I made a mistake. No, in case you're a legacy lifetime, you will be able to have 25,000 contacts and uh, send unlimited emails. In case you are on the new lifetime account, uh, you will be able to send 10, uh, you'll be able to have 10,000 contacts and send unlimited emails. And if you are on a free account, you'll be able to have 500 contacts. So uh, on a free account without payment. 500 uh, contacts and send out um let me just have a look 5000 emails that is it for now are you using a third party sender for the emails will you allow integrations with other sending providers we do allow integrations we have mailchimp and go get response and averber and active campaign and things like this and you can see them whenever you are in your dashboard you click my integrations you can add an integration and then see them all here if you don't see them you just zoom out and you can see them over here um but we will have our own solution as well which will be a you will be able to to work with those um ding, 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 ding. can it use a custom domain to send emails Ooh, it will be yes great so i believe we are done now with groove mail i understand it is not a full solution yet after a couple of hours of being live on the live server um Please give it, be patient a bit more, um, give it a bit more time. The, the 
the more you test, the more you find the bugs, the more you report it, the sooner it will be get uh, getting done and the sooner you will be able to actually um, use it for your own business. I know that you didn't sign up for a beta, beta tester, but in case um, you don't want to help out, just please don't make our job harder. Um, complaining about it, even though we know that it is an error and it was reported, doesn't help us. So in case you want to help us, please go and upvote the, the error bugs and, and feature requests. So that is actually the thing that is helping us improve, not complaints, unfortunately. So if you would like to help, please do that. And yeah, just play with it as much as you can. Test it out, tweak it, see if you like it, see if you don't like it. If you don't like it, request new features and and yeah that's basically it so thank you very much guys for watching i hope you will be uh using groove mail and 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 this for your businesses what my suggestion is now is don't focus on on the the features that it has now but now you have a, a like a, a thinking of what it will have and how it will look so start start um start creating your sequences on your paper. For example, you take a, a piece of paper and say, okay, so these people will receive this email. In this email, I will write tam, 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 tam. Okay, then we will wait one day and then write an, a different email which will say tam, 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 tam. You don't need an email software for that one, just to plan out your sequence. Then when the sequence is fixed, the bugs are fixed, you can just pop it in the software and then you're ready to go. Um, that is my suggestion. Just play with thinking how your business can use it. And now when you know the, the features and where it is, it will be simple for you to set it up later on. So um, please don't judge a beta software, which is just a couple of hours old. Please, if you could help out to make it the best investment that you did in your life. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. Hopefully see you in the Facebook group. Bye, guys.